Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma. I'm here to tell you about this absolutely beautiful 2022 Tesla Model 3 dual motor long range that we have for sale. One awesome battery electric vehicle. In fact, I think it's probably one of the best battery electric vehicles on the road. On top of that, I think, let alone battery electric, I think it's one of the best vehicles on the road. I'm a car nerd. I've been in the car business my whole life. Uh, since I was 15 years old, I've worked at car dealerships. I'm 42. Um, and I'm not just a car nerd, I'm a total Tesla nerd. As a used car manager, luckily I have uh, influence in purchasing vehicles, so I buy a lot of used Teslas for our store. We actually do pretty good with used Teslas. We have about 8 to 10 used Teslas in stock at any given time. We've sold dozens and dozens over the years, so we're pretty familiar with them. We like them. Uh, we might not be as familiar as Tesla, but uh, we know a good amount about them. And I'd love to tell you about this 2022 Tesla Model 3 Long Range One Awesome Vehicle. I can be a little bit long-winded on these videos because they're so different. There's so much to talk about. I will try to keep it as short as possible. So let's go. All right. So we got a 22 um, Model 3 Dual Motor Long Range. Every uh, Tesla is always improving vehicles. When the Model 3 first came out. In 2017, 2018, the dual motor long range had a range of about 310 miles fully charged. In 2001, Tesla added a super efficient uh, heat pump to the Model 3, which really uh, improved the range. And that's the amazing thing. They didn't have to add uh, additional battery capacity. They uh, made it more efficient to increase range. So instead of adding batteries, which adds weight, which is not what you want to do, with a vehicle like this, they made it more efficient. So they kept the same battery size, but they were able to increase range. So they even eked out a little bit more range in 2022. So now fully charged, uh, you can get a max range of 358 miles. Uh, top speed 145 miles an hour, 0 to 64.2 seconds. Also notice this nice uh, wireless charger that they have right here too. Uh, I absolutely love it. Really a nice uh, redesigned console for 2021. We have a uh, Tesla Get Glass that was recently added to uh, the Model 3s. The Tesla Glass is a new patent form of glass that has a sound editing material sandwiched in between. Um, you can kind of see a little bit here. Um, and it's a lot quieter. It is significantly quieter than uh, Tesla's that didn't have that Tesla glass. So uh, it's quiet anyway. He's <laughs> being an electric vehicle and now it's even more quieter. All right, we only have 1,569 miles on this dual motor long range. 358 mile range is quite amazing. There's no other battery electric vehicle that you can buy that has a range that long except another Tesla. Uh, you have, uh, I think the Model S long range with about 400 miles of range would be the next step. Or you could get one of the new Lucids, which is a really cool uh, battery electric vehicle. But the Lucid Airs are like $170,000, $180,000 if you can manage to buy one and get on the waiting list. And those have a 500 mile range. But uh, the Tesla Model 3 at this price point, 358 miles is very impressive. Uh, no one uh, really can come close to the efficiency of Tesla's. Uh, other car companies to get similar range out of their electric vehicles, they have to offer larger battery capacity. Tesla has a synergy to their vehicles because they built so much of the vehicle in-house where a lot of other car manufacturers outsource uh, the building of vehicles you know, by part suppliers. They have all these different part suppliers that send them parts and they kind of cobble them together. Tesla, since it's a vertically integrated company, they build everything in-house as much as possible. So there's a whole level of synergy on Tesla's uh, that are able to give it a whole uh, another level of efficiency versus everyone else. They're just uh, they're playing the long game, and where it seems like you know everyone else is playing checkers, Tesla seems to be making uh, <coughs> be playing a three-dimensional chess. I mean, look at the user interface. The user interface on this vehicle is second to none. It's absolutely amazing. <coughs> Excuse me, just getting over cold. Yeah, the user interface is second to none. Um, it feels like it's designed by Apple. Um, there's just so much detail, so much depth. You can go into these menus for the vehicle. Where some of the other vehicles, some of the electric car competitions is trying to you know, emulate or copy Tesla. It almost feels like their user interfaces are very ba basic, like it was uh, designed for a Fisher Price toy for a five-year-old to use, not to be cruel, but uh, I'm just telling you, it is just amazing. With premium connectivity, it's 10 bucks a month. You have a cell phone transponder, so you get uh, cell phone data, um, giving you these like uh, live uh, Google Maps. The detail is amazing. Also with premium connectivity, you can uh, stream Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, 
Um, you can also use your cell phone as a hotspot too if you wish, but for 10 bucks a month, it's really nice. And uh, you do get some extra features with a, a Wi-Fi hotspot. Um, not the Wi-Fi hotspot, but the premium connectivity versus using your cell phone as a hotspot. We also have the Arcade. Constantly getting over their updates, um, improving the vehicle and giving it new features. You have the toy box giving you the whoopee cushion. Look at this, you got another over there update and they added a blind spot camera. This is recent, you know, they've had the Model 3 out for years and years. Then all of a sudden they found out they can give it a software update and then when you put the turn signals on it activates the cameras on the side of the vehicle and you have these blind spot cameras. Uh, there's really no other vehicle that can do things like that because a lot of other vehicles have their functionality tied to hard buttons and stuff. You'd have to go into the dealership, they'd have to retrofit buttons and wiring. Where this is kind of like a smartphone on wheels, just like your iPhone. You can get an update, you get a whole new operating system, all these features. Well, that's the way Tesla works. Um, and then you have a really nice backup camera. You have a traffic camera. So uh, in the glove compartment, they have a... Uh, Oh, it looks like we have one. You have a USB stick and then you uh, this will allow you to act, uh, record uh, data. So maybe if you're in a car accident, it will record uh, the last few seconds of the car accident to maybe prove that it's not your fault. Uh, maybe you have some aggressive driving or maybe you have a really cool road that you just want to take video of. You can make it so you honk the horn and that will automatically activate the, uh, the uh, camera and start recording. Uh, it's just amazing just to all these features just go on and on and on. Then we have the autopilot. The autopilot is amazing. A lot of people ask about full self-driving. Full self-driving is still in beta. So, uh, you know, if you do have the full self-driving capability, um, you know, it's 200 bucks a month or it's $12,000. You do get some additional features, but it's not like the car can drive itself. It's still in beta mode. They're still testing it. So if you manage to get into beta mode and you can uh, test the software, you still need to pay attention. You need to keep your hand in the wheel. Uh, but autopilot is not any additional money. It uh, comes free with this vehicle. They're constantly improving it and updates and autopilot gives you auto steer so it will steer gently within its lane and you have adaptive cruise control. So basically, it's what we call level two autonomy. I'll pull up a video right now of me operating a 2018 Tesla on autopilot. You can see it's, it's driving and it's turning. Uh, it's, the system's mainly designed to be used in the highway so if you do use it on back roads like in this video, you need to be extra vigilant. You need to slow down the vehicle. It's not gonna slow down automatically for sharp corners. And you need to pay attention because uh, uh, the vehicle might not see something. Um, it might react to a situation weird, so you always have to pay attention to intervene. But it really does remove a whole level of stress from you when you have the vehicle on autopilot. All right, let's keep this video moving along. It's getting uh, getting a little long now. Nice uh, premium interior. Uh, the long range uh, Model 3 comes with a premium interior upgrades package. So you have front and, and rear heated seats, heated steering wheel. Amazing climate control system. The climate control system even uh, features a dog mode. 2022 is a great year for the Model 3 because in 2021 they added a power operated rear trunk. All previous Teslas before 2021, they were manual. And look at all this extra storage. Because uh, this is not built like a conventional automobile, you have storage in places that you normally wouldn't find it, like right there. Normally there would be a gas tank or a spare tire uh, impeding into your space in the trunk, but you have that whole other cargo section. It's a really beautiful car, very minimalist styling. Also, it's considered one of the safest vehicles on the road. Let's open the trunk. With the weight of the battery is so low, it has an extremely low rollover risk. And the way the vehicle is constructed, it makes it safe. Autopilot makes it safe. When you have the vehicle operating on autopilot, on average, autopilot vehicles operating on autopilot average one accident for every four million miles driven. Then you have this trunk, extra cargo space, but this is also a safety feature. No, you have all this space to absorb frontal cross uh, energy and a frontal impact. In some situations, you, an engine can get pushed inside the passenger compartment. All this space will absorb cross energy. Um, and you can go on Tesla's website. Uh, the Tesla Model 3 is the safest vehicle uh, tested by the NHTSA uh, by every metric. It is the lowest probability of injury in an automotive accident out of any other vehicle on the road. If you want to drive one of the safest vehicles on the road, look no further than the Model 3. You want to drive one of the coolest vehicles on the road, look at the Model 3. It's also one of the fastest with the dual motors, 
uh, zero to 60 is very fast. There's no hesitation. It just takes right off. You're going to be faster than most cars on the road. Oh, if Tesla's amazing uh, supercharging network, if you do need to drive further than 350 miles or 300 miles, you can get a full charge in about 35 to 45 minutes. And you don't have to do a full charge. Even, uh, you know, charging for 10 minutes or 15 minutes can add 60, 70 miles of range uh, to get you to where you need to go. Um, and with home charging, your house is like the gas station. You come home, you plug it in, you wake up the next morning, you have a full battery uh, of electricity, like a full full tank of electricity. Your house is like the gas station. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hope to see you soon and have a wonderful day.